Hey everybody, for my kiddos that are working on letters, I'm going to go over our letter of the week. This week's letter is O. Big O and little O. The letter O can make two sounds. It can make the short O, ah, or it can make the long O, o. So we're going to practice both sounds. First, we're gonna practice short O. Mama is feeding her baby. The baby opens wide and says, ah, ah, ah. Okay, let's all try making that sound. First, I'll say it, then you say it. Ah. Good job. Short O says, ah. Here are some things that start with the short O sound. Octopus. Ah, octopus. October. Ah, October. And odd. Odd. Can you think of something else that starts with the short O sound? Ah. All right, we are gonna practice making the long O sound, okay? Paige sees the cupcakes in the bakery and says, O, O, O. Can you guys make that sound? I'll say it, then you say it. O. Good job. Here are some things that start with the long O sound. This one is an oboe. Oboe. This word is over. Over. This word is oval. You guys know this shape. Oval. Can you think of something else that starts with the long O sound? Now I'm gonna show you how to make an O. So this is what our big O will look like. We're gonna use two big curves to make an O with our letter blocks. So first we have one big curve. And we're gonna add the second big curve. And voila, we have a big O. And our little O is just the same as big O, except it's smaller. So we're gonna start with a small curve, and another small curve, and voila, we have little o. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to write the letter o. First, I'm going to make our big o. The proper name is capital O. So I'm gonna start in the top middle and do my big C curve. Keep going and stop at the top. That is a big O. Now I'm going to make our little O and the proper name for little O is lowercase O. So I'm going to start in the middle. I'm gonna make a magic C. Keep going and stop at the top. That is our little O.